You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMAR 2 News update. Two workers recovering after a building collapse in East Baltimore. The fire department was called to the 1700 block of East Biddle Street this morning. When they arrived, they found two workers in the partially collapsed building. The buildings are vacant on that block and under construction. After the collapse, building inspectors were on the scene to see what caused the building to collapse and to make sure that the building was secure as well. An update now on the COVID-19 numbers across our state. More than 75% of adults have at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. Nearly 3.5 million people are fully vaccinated. To date, nearly 7 million doses have been administered. Meanwhile, the state recording 47 new cases in the last day. Our positivity rate is at 0.66%. Right now, 119 people are in the hospital. And in the last day, three Marylanders have died through June. Every person that died from COVID-19 was unvaccinated. 95% of the new cases were in people who were unvaccinated. And 93% of new hospitalizations were in people who were also unvaccinated. Well, he is going by Be More Vaccinated. The winner of the $400,000 Vax Cash Grand Prize lives in Baltimore and works in IT. But that's all we know about him as he wants his identity to be kept a secret. I don't blame him. He did take this photo with his winnings. It took him two days to process that it was real. He plans to save most of the prize money. He added that he would also like to donate some to charity. When asked why he chose to get the COVID-19 vaccine, he said if it's going to help other people, it's simple. Just do it. Something that's going to help you is the AC for tomorrow. It's going to be another scorcher out there. Temperature starting off in the upper 70s for the morning, climbing into the mid 90s through the afternoon. We are tracking that chance of some showers through the afternoon and early evening as temperatures fall into the low 90s. We're talking 105, the heat index, where daytime highs flirt with the upper 90s across portions of the state. Unfortunately, rain chances will plague the forecast Thursday into your Friday. Slightly cooler numbers for your Saturday, where we're looking at dry conditions. Unfortunately, that's the only dry day in the forecast. Rain returns Sunday and sticks around through next Tuesday. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. And also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2 News app in your app store. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction. 